quick shot to the face, am I correct? And it affected the nerves, the which... Uh, at the side of the temple, through, through the side of the temple, uh, through my right eye, stuck behind my nose, but when the bullets got stuck, it's fucking, it's damaged all my nerves at the back, so my smile's gone still. And the taste has gone, and I, I sort of had um, a vibe of that with the, with the COVID. And, and yeah, it, that's what I was going to say, that with the COVID and that, all oh, people have just got like colds and that where you can't taste or smell. Yeah. That's exactly how I have it every day. Yeah, it's, years. it's really discomforting, I've got to say, bro. I'm used to it now, though, bro. It's been 18 years, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I remember when but I was. What I'm, not, what I'm not used to, though, is people going, oh, God, you smell this? And I'm like, bro, you know I've got no smell, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm Sorry, bro. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like a man said to me, a man said to me before, yo, he's got the leng on the, on the wing. Saying what leng, bro? Like, can't you? He was about to say, can't you? Then he stopped himself. He went, oh, fast, God, sorry, bro. He's about to say, can't you smell it? <laughs> yeah, man. I've done it myself back in the day, innit? <laughs> in the well, studio. My, my mum still does it. <laughs> Is she good? Is she alright? That's just good, she's good, you know. Just come up and see me a couple of weeks ago, still. So. Julie D, shout-outs to you if you're listening. Yeah, come on, me do. Dungeon loves you. Definitely. Love her to death. The Dungeon Journey, I will have begun, and it would have been um, single number four, and that would be Come On Now. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, that was hard, that track. <laughs> yeah. Okay, listeners, strap in. This is GAV with... Come on now! Do you like my impression of you, bro? Is that shit? Yeah, that's hard, that man. <laughs> Alright. GAV, come on now. See, for this one, you got a fucking, um, it's like a savory hat, yeah? Where the inside's like a Rizzler Boy 8, bro, because when you try and smoke it, it's like it's got little holes in it. <laughs> like you can't see it, it's just a year, you know, proper drag anyway. But a lot, of man, a lot of man in here won't use the biblical paper, man. Why? Because they think it's sacrilege. Like, oh, yeah, I can't use that, man. Swear, it's against it. I said, get the fuck, mate. I'll smoke the hell out of it, bro. Nah, do you know what? You can have them back. You know what? You can say to them, look, it's in the Bible. Don't treat the Bible as the holy thing. It's about the word. If you're treating the Bible as holy, that's idol worship. I told him, man. I said, you smoke this, bro. You'll get closer to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hey, no. any any believers out there, I'm... We don't. Anyone that's believed is over you. Come on, mate. If you believe, bro, and you smoke the Bible, you'll get closer to it. Yeah, man. I mean, I mean, I don't know about smoking the ink. I don't know that that's healthy. But there's a couple of pages at the nah, beginning, at the end. Nah, it's not the ink. No, there's parts. There's parts in the Bible where, you, where it's got fingy, bro. Where it's just white. It's just like this, bro. We just want to. Like a, um, a red, a red or a green rizzle. We just want to let studio cat in there, man. Come on. Yeah, the dungeoness. Yeah, gangster. She's getting fat in her old age, man. Oh, this, that cat's more moss side than I am. Yeah, definitely, man. That cat knows the hood, man. So, you've been writing any music? Um, and I heard some bars that you sent over the other day. Strong. I have, I have, I have, I have. I've been writing little bits, but only like little freestyles. I've just, just been going in on the freestyles, bro. I'm gonna let the listeners know. He's like um, Ross the Boss uh, is doing a track with you as well coming up now. Oh, that's coming. That's coming along. That you know, coach. Yeah, I'm. I'm really excited to hear it, bro. But that's coming along. Yeah. He's got. You know, again, shout outs to the young man himself. Um, he's got a good approach. Ross the Boss, Ovi, my guy from Longside, real guy. Also, while we're giving shout outs, let's do the shout outs. A, uh, a friend you introduced me to is playing a show tonight. C1. C1, man, my little brother, that. Uh, a dope rapper. Uh, he's playing a show in Leeds tonight, so listen out for that. If you don't know, it's C W -E O N E C1. Get onto that. Um, I think um, Spray might have a new track out as well. About time. Good mate of mine, that man. Proper guy, man. Yeah, man. Doing very good. Podcast as well, doing very good. Man. I, I, I yes. can't wait for him to do He needs to get his recognition. I'll tell you that right now. He's one of the originals from way back in the day before. Most of these men in, in London are doing their thing. Spray's been doing his thing hard, and it's still hard to this day. 
One thing I'm, I get is um, when people are being good intentioned, then I, I, I get a vibe about he's got good intentions with his work. Like that definitely has, definitely has. He, push, he pushes man, man. He pushes man to the limits. Yeah. It's just that man after the fuck everything you get me. Yeah. You don't follow it, and you ain't gonna get where you need to get to. And he's pushed a few man into their place where they are right now. Hey, check this one out. Shotty Horror has just opened that. Sh- well. He's opened that studio. Shout outs to Shotty man. He's opened the studio he was talking to us about. Yeah, so that that studio's open now. And get this, G. He's doing um. Uh, ten, it's three. What is it? Thirty-five quid an hour. And if you book ten hours, you'll do a free feature for you. Oh lord! So I might just get him on a coach G G A V feature, man. I'll do the hook back to back and just pay him the three fifty. <laughs> I'd like that. I'd definitely like that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like we need to come up with sort of sort of major for that guy's heart. Yeah, man. I just go in with the old uh, Gibson. I got a nice new guitar. I'll just go in there with my amazing guitar and vocal skills. You just go in there, well, send something that's real. They can't buy that with them guys. If them guys want your real, I'll be, no, I don't mean shot him personally because he's as real. He's, he's done. He, he goes way back. He's authentic. But um, he's a bad boy, but a lot of people, you know, they they fake it and love it when they're around the real. It's like boxers, yeah, isn't it? You see boxers surrounded by loads of goons, don't you? Oh. <laughs> You know, it's just the way it is. All right, anyway, Coach G here, live with the man, GAV. This is an exclusive to the Dungeon Radio Show. Um, and we're, yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to ask you, okay, did you think about any tunes that you can have a choice of? Are you going to pick a tune for us? He's doing bits right now, fuck it all. Cold feel, man. Um, no chill. My guy, Clint, from Longside, hard. Uh, no chill. N-O-C-H-I-L-L. Okay, right, we're going to bang him on. From Longsight, this is... Chosen by me, no chill. My guy from Longsight, he's in my brother. Next one. Next one, next one. My little, my little cousin Tally, Tal Greasy. Hard. But it's, he's in there right at the moment, but hopefully he'll be home real soon. Yeah, the track, uh, new racks. Hard. Yo, this is Tal Greasy. With new racks. My intro, I need to practice my workings again. This is Tell Greaser with new racks. New racks. <laughs> We're back, Dungeon Radio. Gav choosing some tunes that he listens to that you reckon, that he reckon. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, you know, that's why it's laid back. Come on, next one. <laughs> I recommend, yeah? Yeah. Um, another one. Fucking hell, bro. Right now, he's, he's Roster Boss, man. He's going off, but he's, he's not on Spotify right now, but he will be soon. But we'll, we'll leave that for now. Um, let me think of a next person right now. He's doing very good. But well, you got to give it to a little H, man. Yeah, let's have an H track. Why not, man? Have you got a, tra- a, tra- a track in particular you like? Uh, no, I'd, I'd probably go for the freestyle that he did. That made him blow up. Let's bang it on. Where's H from, man? He's from Austin, you know, from where, where my granny was living. Yo, I'm a Newton Eve kid, partly as well, and Colts, Moss, I'm from a gypsy, Manchester gypsy style. This is H from Moston, shout outs to Moston, man. Is it M24, Moston? No, that's so um, language. Yo, I can't, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, oh, fucking M60, bro. Yo, shouts to the M60 peeps. All right, this is H with a freestyle. Okay, nice, nice one. We got a little three tracks for you there. Dungeon Radio with GAV, long time collaborator, known, yeah, known G. And we're telling your story through music here, um, or the past few years through music. So after um, we brought out Come On Now, um, which was uh, hard, by the way. I don't, you know, we didn't really talk about it much, but that was that was pretty. I was quite pleased with that. Um, I was happy with that. Yeah. We... Danny was in that. Seen you in there, Dan. <laughs> Danny's been in every video. Yeah, stand up, Danny there, turns Dan. up. Bye, yeah. bye. And we, um, after that, mate, you got locked up, you know. Yep, I did. Um, and we, we still had enough footage and recording material to put out Picture Me Riding. Yeah. Um, and to say the truth, is one of my... 
Yeah, I, I love this. I fucking love this track, man. It's just, it's got, it's got a, it's bad in that. It's bad like certified and man down, but it's bad with a little bit of its tongue in its cheek as well. It's got a little bit more sense of humour about it. Yeah, because don't forget, yeah, that track, yeah. Um, I did that track, I remember, because people was chatting shit about um, the Sub Zero. Yeah. Well, because people was chatting shit about the Sub Zero, obviously, I had to let people know, look, you know what I mean? What I'm talking about is real. Mm. Anything I say is real. I don't need to gas shit up, I don't need to lie, I'm not that type of person. What I say is real shit. So when I said the shit about the, the whole the thingy and the thingy about them two man, obviously I got pure complaints about it. People moaning, people even phoning my mum and that man fucking phoning my mum and saying, oh, why is he mentioning these man and this, that and you know, But obviously at the time when I wrote that, that's how I felt at that time. Well, that's, and that's all it can, that's art, isn't it? People, that, that's what I mean. It, I, I get the feeling that in a certain section of society, i.e. the law, doesn't take the music seriously, the music side. They just see it as, as if it's all Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. So, but obviously at the time, at the time of the man being out and me being out on the road, that's how I felt that shit would have happened if it would have been different. But obviously they ended up getting locked up, so, you know, that didn't happen then. And since then, everything's calmed down. There's no gang wars going on between all no fucking... Right. Yeah, Perel, Doddy, each fucking Father Field, Rush on, there's nothing going on. And as you've seen yourself, bro, we get about in my side, you know, they don't shoot after us no more, it's not that type of party. Yeah, quite right. You know what I mean? So, it's not old shit, bro, so obviously, that's what I rap about, I rap about with them, what, what's happened and how I felt at the time, and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Man. Hey, Carnival's coming up on the 13th and 14th. So it is, and we got some. I got some people um, that I got a stall in there. Um, I just found out today from Big L, my guy in there. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's a new liquor about to hit the roads. Oh. Legal thing, you get me? Oh. So which we're all gonna be involved in, including yourself. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. I'm gonna chat with my proper um, called Opium. Oh, that sounds so, interesting. Um, like a rum beat. Yeah, because I'm looking at doing a stage, uh, like... Uh, I'm looking at putting on some acts and um, playing some music for the festival, you know, for the carnival. Yeah, you know, you wherever you are, I'll get them bottles to go, go wherever the fuck most of the dummy bottles are for you. Yeah, and we can sell some, you know what I mean? That's it, we can sell the shots and everything. Yeah, and the... yeah. All so right. I'll let them put together, man. Okay, we'll talk, we'll talk. All right, so for, for them that don't know, this is uh, the last single so far that's been internationally released, and you know, all the platforms and all that. Uh, it's GAV, Picture Me Riding. Check it out. Riding on it, man. GAV there, Picture Me Riding. So that's that's the ones we could, but check it out. So that I've left two tracks out so far, bro. I've left out Snitch, and I've left out the one that you don't like to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> the one that you did without fucking telling me. <laughs> bro, you was you, you you was in the room. <laughs> yeah, I was in the room though, but fuck you know. <laughs> I fucking love that tune again. I gotta say. Said, man, it's, it's there, isn't it? It's you know, it's not like, real life, man. It's fun though, you know, wait, I'm talking about a track uh, from Horace McCaskill called The Moss Side Dub. And uh it's every the thing I like about it is everything on it is real from the the old keyboard, that's me playing all the music to a man singing yeah. old style. We might as well be in in fucking Kingston in nineteen sixty doing it. That's what I love about it. Yeah, it's, and you've got a little vibrato in the voice. Yard. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> Proper singing and that. Man, you could have been Michael Jackson. <laughs> Yo. This, yeah, man, absolute banger. So I'm just, I'm going to play this quickly. This is uh, Horace McCaskill. And the reason we chose the name, uh, obvious certain sections of that is obvious, but the, the surname, McCaskill, that's my family. We share sort of north of the border lineage, don't we? Uh, uh, grand, uh, grand and granddad, uh, my mum's Scottish. 
Yeah, man. So shouts to all the Scottish listeners. And mine are from the um, Outer Hebrides, my grandparents, one of my grandparents, which is like Stornoway. The Scots don't even class them as fucking Scottish. <laughs> Glaswegians, man. <laughs> you couldn't tell, G. You wouldn't never, you'd never know. Yeah, you'd never know. So this is Auras McCaskill, a.k.a. GAV. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to come clean. And this is the Moss Side Dub. Smoke a joint to this one. Yeah. 